Hi, I'm Mike Finnegan, host of Roadkill, and we're going to talk about my 1955 Chevy Bel Air today. The car looks a lot like a car from the movie Two Lane Blacktop, which is a movie I saw when I was in high school, and it stars James Taylor and Dennis Wilson as two badass street racers crisscrossing the country, making money basically with their car. And when I was a kid, there really wasn't much cooler of a car or anything you could do with a car than what they did in that movie. So it's been, I don't know, 30 years of waiting for the opportunity to build one and I finally came across a dirt cheap $2,500 body and I combined that with a really nice Jim Meyer racing chassis uh, and a Hemi, which is weird, you know, the, the car in the movie had a 454 Chevy, not a Hemi in it, but I figured if I'm going to build a 55 Chevy, why not make it, you know, different? There's a whole lot of gasters out there already, and there's a whole lot of Chevys being built. And this does a good job of pissing either Mopar guys off or Chevy guys. So, um, so we've got a big block Hemi under the hood. It's 535 cubic inches. It's based off of a crate motor that you can buy from Mopar Performance right now. Uh, it is topped with ported factory casting aluminum heads. It's got comp cams, uh, camshaft in it, and lifters. It's got a Hillborn EFI intake, which uh, mimics the look of the traditional stacks, but it doesn't have any of the drawbacks. It's not mechanical. It's got EFI from fast on it, so it starts when I want it to and gets reasonably good gas mileage and goes really fast. Uh, behind the engine, we've got a Tremec six-speed transmission that doesn't just fall into a 55 Chevy without some cool parts, and those parts come from American Powertrain. Uh, they hooked me up with the Bella housing, all the linkage. It's got a hydraulic clutch cylinder. Uh, bitchin', bitchin' deal with a white lightning shifter that's the butteriest, that's not even a good word, but it's the smoothest shifter I've ever used. If you've ever driven like a late model Mustang that has a Tremec transmission in it, you hate the shifter, you're missing shifts. This shifter, badass. I haven't missed a shift once in this car. Uh, behind that, we've got a nine inch, why not? Nothing else in the car is stock. Um, it's got 457 gears in it. It's got 30 inch tall pie crust tires. Uh, they're from Coker. Um, and they're the single greatest road trip tire you could ever have for a gasser. Because they look period correct and they don't wear out. They won't hook at the drag strip. You're not going fast with these tires. And they're horrible in the rain. But you can enter all the burnout contests you want and drive as many miles as you want on them. They pretty much don't wear out. Uh, these have 7,000 miles on them actually. Uh, we got Viking performance coilovers on the back of the car that are double adjustable. We've got Viking shocks on the front. Uh, those are just double adjustable also. Uh, ladder bars in the back. Nothing going on in the interior. It's got two Limeworks Speed Shop plastic bucket seats with almost no padding. So every 100 miles you want to get out of the car because it feels like you've been in prison. Your ass hurts that bad. And uh, yeah, we got a little bit of carpet, no radio. Um, you know, right foot's the radio pretty much. Uh, the exhaust is retarded. It's probably too big. It's a uh, three and a half inch diameter pipe going through a set of bullet mufflers that are just mufflers. They don't fit. So it's too loud, I wear earplugs when I drive. Let's talk about the EFI. The EFI is cool. So it has a fast XFI 2.0 box in it that data logs, it'll control a nitrous system, turbos, whatever. I don't have any of that on the car, so I'm using it as the ignition system on the car and to control the fuel injection. It has a fast dual sync distributor um, that's basically giving the EFI a cam signal. So, you know, other than that, it's telling the spark where to go. Uh, we've got an MSD coil and an MSD digital six box that's giving me a programmable launch rev limit and whatnot and wirings by Speedwire they make the cleanest wiring you've ever seen for a race car the fuse panels totally worth looking at it's right next to the seat there and that's pretty much it you know it's a pretty simple car it drives straight it's loud it goes down the road real good and, and it gets a little bit of attention and it satisfies my need to have the two-lane blacktop car without blatantly ripping it off. I mean, the mailbox scoop is a total ripoff, but the rest of the car, it doesn't have the daisy mags, and you know, I'm not James Taylor, so we're not totally ripping it.